Today I'm going to talk about the process I did in changing my front brakes on my 2001 Toyota Surf and also the wheel studs. Uh, two of my front wheel studs were bad. Uh, first, we have to jack up the vehicle and take out your wheel as you can see I have it prop here I have a prop over there it's on the chassis I still have the jack underneath it and I have the back wheel wedge and the process I went through in changing the pads and the wheel nuts first thing there are two bolts here one here and one here the first step is you take out that spring right here let me get that out of the way you take out that spring you take out the top pin then this is going to release and you'll take out that bottom pin then you will pull out the bricks if it's hard you would use a screwdriver between the brakes and the disc and you will pry it which will push the caliper in but I do not send the fluid that's trapped here in the caliper back to the servo I have this put it on which is a 10 and I connect a hose onto the nipple and I have a bottle anytime I changing or bleeding I would bleed in a bottle I do not send the brick fluid that's trapped here back because whatever fluid has here is black because of the pistons, the working of the pistons get the fluid black and it, in between the fluid you would always get pieces of metal or, 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 or something so whatever is in the servo at the top it's fresh fluid so after you press that your fluid comes through here to take out this there's two bolts here one here one at the top which is a 17 you take out this bolt you take out that bolt at the top then this is the cable for the speed sensor you would take it out disconnect it from here there is a clip there is a clip right here which you will take out the And take out the and take out the brick line. You take a piece of tying wire or, or whatever you have. Once you take out the caliper, you put it up and tie it. Do not let it hang on the brick line. Your life depends on it. 
don't try to kink the brick line or anything you would hang that portion up once you get that done then you'll take out your disc to get out the disc once you get this out your caliper out the disc bricks would either be loose or you might have to give it a tap for it to come out usually it's it would be seized around this part here so you tap it and then that portion comes out which would expose your wheel studs to remove the bad wheel stud you take a hammer and hit it the wheel studs has splines which fits into the the hole you would hit it out then you would turn there is an opening at the bottom where you'll push the old wheel stud out and put in the new one to get it flush you'd either use as many spaces as possible or if you have a nut that fits over there and then you would use that with the spacers and the nut once you tighten that it would bring in the wheel stud once you get that done you would put back your disc then you would put this back put in the two bolts at the back to hold it secure and then you would put in your disc brakes once you get your disc brakes in you would put in this pin put this clip back put in the pin at the top and also that spring here to secure the bricks in when you through the same process you do it on this side you do on the other side once you're through with that you'd keep this open and you would bleed it if you have somebody with you the person would be pumping while you control whatever comes out here and once you get that done you'd put your wheel back take out your jack and, and prop this is the process i did when i was changing my disc brakes and also wheel studs i tried making a video in the process but it stopped when i thought it was recording it wasn't uh, so i decided to have a, a brief or a short video make a short video of the steps i did the things i use the tools i use would be in the description below also the this bricks would also be in the description and below if you like this video and you find it was helpful please subscribe give me the thumbs up which is the like until the next one i have a video coming out every friday so until the next one uh, we'll catch up thank you